Welcome back to the Forked Road. This is going to be a demonstration of Frog Pilot, new update that came out in April, version number 79E22DD. Might have been messing up the numbers there, I'll fix it on screen. But this is actually experimental mode. In my last video I said I was displaying experimental mode, which I believed I had turned on, but quirky little thing about Frog Pilot. Let's see if it stops us. Okay. Didn't like that stop, but it did stop us. Um, so the last video, I thought I had enabled it. It does not enable when you just turn the toggle switch on. Usually you have to turn the toggle switch on and then reboot. And after the reboot, then it takes those settings. So, something to learn. Appears to be the stop and go feature. Does appear to be working in experimental mode, so I didn't have to press on the gas there, it just took over. The way we know we're in experimental is because of these little guys down here and the little triangle. Triangle means that it can see the forward lead car and uh, it should know their speed and if they're stopping or not. We are going to be driving into the night here Hence the title of the video, Frog Pilot at Night, so you guys can see what it looks like on the roads at night here. The longitudinal control is interesting. We were keeping a pretty decent distance from this minivan in front of us, and then we gained some speed. I don't know if that means they slowed down and we just lost some of our distance, but it's not as consistent as the built-in. Oh, and yeah. For a while now, I've been using Frog Pilot in chill mode, where the longitudinal control has just been from the default that the RAV4 has, which is very comfortable, but you can already tell it's a little bit different with the experimental mode. Frog Pilot. Also the driving model that we're on is the Duck Amigo driving model. I've been testing out all the different ones and Certified Herbalist was pretty pretty good. That was one of my favorites for staying in the center of the lane. And then I tried out Recertified Herbalist for a couple drives. However now I saw another post about Duck Amigo being one of the better ones, so we have switched to Duck Amigo. That is what we are currently seeing displayed. Is it going to break? Okay, it did. That was smooth, I just didn't look very nice. And now that we have open space in front of us, it does not want to speed up to the set speed of 45. Okay. Now it does. It's the one thing I've found with experimental mode is that it does appear to be a little inconsistent. If I set a certain speed, I can't just guarantee that I'm gonna be going that speed if there's nothing around. It's going to be factoring in other elements. Another setting to be aware of would be the fact that we are in aggressive driving model now. So it does appear to be, you know, speeding up, staying up with traffic, um, all within the posted speed limits. Are we going to break? Are we going to break? Okay, we are. Yeah, it starts the braking later than I would like to, which is something you can get used to, but at least as of now, it's... You can see my reactions. We're unsure. But we do have the stop and go feature, which is very nice, not having to be here for that. 
had a disengagement there. This guy was coming in, but if they're coming in a little too close, I always like to just take over because that is not something that it's super well trained at. We're gonna get on the highway here, see how it does with some highway driving. Letting it do the lane change by itself. Got another lane change. This is weird. We're going 50, 45, 42. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna take over. Okay, because it's, it's recognizing this curve here, but this is pretty darn slow. Now I'm curious if it'll speed back up, because we are set at 73. And it is speeding back up, so. Yeah. I mean, it took it slow to be safe, but it did that entire curve on its own, so props to Frog Pilot there. It's got another point. Nothing too eventful out here on the highway, but great lane centering. I would say this Duck Amigo is as well centered as the certified herbalist or the recertified herbalist. So if you don't like one of the models because it holds you to the left or to the right a little bit more, definitely would recommend checking out one of those models. All right, we've got a lead car here for our freeway exit. We'll see if it can stop with them. Okay, and then we've got a tricky situation. Our lead car is disappearing, and we need to make it through the green. I'm gonna take over here. So, no chance to give it a full try, but there are going to be situations that you just take over on your own here. And that was one of them. Got a little bit more curved road here, but again, even accelerating into it. No takeover controls needed. That is a nicer feature. It recognized the stop cars. The regular radar system will not see those stop cars. You'll just plow right into them. So there's another point for experimental mode. It can sense the stopped cars coming up. There we have another stop and go moment. 
Stop and go seems to be well implemented. We're probably going to have a takeover here. We're not going to have a takeover. They're letting me over. No takeover required. Okay, we're we gonna stop. This is a stressful stop. It's breaking, it's doing it. Okay. If anything, this just shows off the fact that I like to break early, but it's really not doing any harsh braking. It's really just a smooth slowdown, and then we just continue on. So that about wraps up things here on this latest update here. Let me know what else you're trying to see. Hoping to get an update here with an actual release. Uh, this update didn't have any release notes on the Frog Pilot update website. That was just the release back in March that had the update. Okay, here we go, red light. Will it be able to see it? It does see the red light. And it's bringing us to a stop here. So. There you go, experimental mode, working with stoplight. Let's see if it does stop and go. It does not do stop and go on the green light. So, there you go, one last little tidbit for you. You do have to go at the red lights again. But, thank you for tuning in to the Forked Road. Checking out Frog Pilot. We're going to be checking out Sunny Pilot. I heard there was an update with that as well, so stay tuned for some more forks being tested out and watching the progression of this software. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.